so we have to show that for this given function as limit n approaches infinity the value of this uh, given function is equal to 9 by 25 so let us uh, see the numerator part so 1 square plus 2 square plus up to dot 3n square and we know the sum of n natural I mean square of n natural numbers so 1 square 2 square plus up to n square the formula is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 so just uh, check here we got the n squared here and we got the 3n squared here so leave the square and the square part so remaining n and here it is 3n so I can write n equal to 3n so for this uh, to find with this value so wherever you got the 10 in this formula I will be substituting 3n so the numerator part I will write instead of n 3n so I will get the 3n into n plus 1 n equal to 3n so 3n into 3n plus 1 into 2n we know that n equal to 3n so 2n will be 2 into 3n that will be 6n plus 1 divided by 6 and the whole divided by here sum of natural numbers 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 5n so for the natural numbers we know the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 but here instead of n I got that 5n so instead wherever I got the n I have to substitute 5n so instead of this n I am going to substitute 5n into once again instead of n I am going to substitute 5n plus 1 divided by 2 into here I have got a 2n plus 3 so that I will write as it is now I can so I will write here limit n tends to infinity or n approaches infinity now I can cancel this n and this n and probably 3 divided by 6 will be 2 times once again this 2 and 2 I can cancel so 1 by 5 I can take it out and remaining will be 3n plus 1 into 6n plus 1 so I start multiplying here so 3n into 6n will be 18n squared and 3n into 1 will be 3n then 1 into 6n will be 6n plus 1 into 1 will be 1 divided by here I got that uh, this 5 I have taken out 1 by 5 so now 5n into 2n will be 10n squared 5n into 3 will be 15n then we got that 1 into 2n will be 2n plus 1 into 3 will be 3 so now limit n approaches infinity now what we are going to do here is we are going to take the highest degree highest degree means highest power of n so in all these cases n is power i mean n here the power of n is 1 here the power of n is 1 but here the power of n is what n square so take the highest degree you have to take the highest degree of n so highest degree of n that is n square i'll be dividing each and everything by n square so now i'll write 1 by 5 into 18 n square divided by n square plus 3n divided by n square plus 6n divided by n squared plus 1 divided by n squared once again the whole divided by here I got the 10n square divided by n square plus 15n by n squared plus 2n by n squared plus 3 divided by n squared limit n approaches infinity so now I, I will write this function as limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 5 the moment I divide n square n square will get cancelled I will be getting 18 here so this will be 3 n and n square will cancel. I will be getting 3 by n this will be 6 by n and this will be 1 by n squared the whole divided by n square n square will get cancelled here so it will be 10 plus uh, n, n square will get cancelled here so 15 by n plus uh, 2 by n and this will be 3 by n squared so now what I will do is uh, I am going to substitute the limit there so what I will get is 1 by 5 into 18 plus 3 upon infinity plus 6 upon infinity plus 1 upon infinity square divided by 10 plus 15 upon infinity plus 2 upon infinity and 3 upon infinity square so this will be equal to 1 by 5 into I will be having that 18 plus this entire value becomes 0 here also it will be 10 plus these values will become 0 so this will be equal to 1 by 5 into 18 by 10 and we know that uh, 2 divides 18 9 times and here 5 times so my answer will be 9 upon 5 into 5 will be 25 which is the proof 
Now let us check why these values are equal to 0. See, normally when you take a value like uh, 1 by infinity, 1 by infinity or 1 by infinity square like that. So we know that 1. Suppose you think that uh, 1 is a, like a small number when compared to infinity. Suppose if you got 1 cake with you and infinity, let us take it as 1 crore, for example now. So when you divide 1 cake to like almost 1 crore people, what they will get sir? Naturally they will get nothing there. So that's the reason that always a number, a small number by infinity will be always equal to 0. So you can't divide a small number like a piece of cake and you can't distribute to like 1 crore people or it may be 10 crore people whatever it is. And when you get infinity square it is still worse because it will be 1 crore the whole square. So you can't even imagine. See here you can check 3 is a small number like infinity is a very big number. So 3 by a very big number will be 0, 6 by a very big number will be 0, 1 divided by infinity square will be naturally equal to 0. That is the reason we put 3 by infinity equal to 0, your 6 upon infinity equal to 0 and 1 upon. So all these guys will become 0. So in general you can take it as limit for example like as limit x approaches infinity the value of 1 by x means wherever you get 1 by infinity the value will be equal to 0. So repeatedly I am telling you if you got 1 cake with you like infinity the 1 cake you have to, di you have to distribute among infinity number of people means like infinity may be 1 crore 10 crores like that. Just imagine you can't distribute 1 cake to like 1 crore people. Naturally they will get a very small piece which is equal to 0 which is equal to nil. That's the reason we put 3 upon infinity 0, 6 upon infinity 0. And that is the proof here. Thank you.